So the problem I have, I have two different kinds of radios now. I've got the Yezu and the Icon. And the ends are both different. Yezu has the six prong, the Icon has the four prong. I've got my power supply here. And instead of sw swapping back and forth, I'm gonna put power poles onto my power supplies and convert everything to power poles. So I'll show you that real quick. Uh. Don't let go of it once you do that. Lesson learned. Now let go. So now they're going to go in like this way. So these need to go kind of with this hook. This hook down and they'll go in like that. So you really have to get that to a fine point to get it on without breaking any strands. So it took me a while, but I had to really pinch to get that to a point. There is a slot for it to fit inside of there. I'll try to show you. See how it holds itself? It's because there's a slot in there for it. This would be a lot easier if I wasn't having to film it. That, that's on there pretty good. See how good that is? I can see part of the end there. And then of course it's got the stamp here. Now let's try that again. I'm gonna make a fine point for these 30 amp. I'm using 30 amp. Kind of twist it to the right to get the strands. Okay, now that's there. Let's try this again. Comes out perfect. Now, isn't that beautiful? Perfect crimp. And there's the flat part. I tug on it a little bit, bit just to, that was my first one ever, by the way. So now, Okay, so this one is good. I want to end up like this. So I put these. These ones are going to be the same. I'm going to go ahead and attach these. They slide together to these little grooves right there. Work of art, isn't it? Beautiful work of art. So, what I ended up with in this case was an extension cord. This is kind of a practice, practice run. Now I'm going to orient it 
I orient it with these things flat so they're all consistent, everything's consistent. Excellent day. Now for the magic moment. Where we line these up. Feels really good when they go in. Feels really bad when they don't. So these guys have got to kind of Kind of tricky, you have to get everything right. Like, I noticed that these, see how it's shiny? Those go on the bottom. Like, that's kind of my reference point. They go on the bottom and then these slide in. Now, I've had trouble with this tonight. I'm going to push on this, not too hard. And see, that one went in without much effort. Now, push this one not too hard. That one went in without mu not much too effort. Now, I'm pulling on it feels really good now. Now they're a little bit uneven, but this feels real good. And then my other sample that I did earlier, oh crap. There we go. I thought I did them wrong. That's how they should go in. There's my plug. I should test my plug a little bit, shouldn't I? Now this piece is going to go to my, this is going to screw into my power supply. This will be power poles, and then this goes to my radio power poles. So I'll have my ICOM, and a different Yezu will go into both. I'm just gonna leave it as it is. Kind of line it up and make sure I'm good here before I crimp, crimp. Is this one gonna be easy or fight me? It was easy. Once it snaps, it feels really solid. You can like pull on it, and I, I like to make pull on it just to be sure. Now I've got my power supply on this side and my radio on this side. And then I've got, here's my radio. Let me zoom out. Radio wire, so power supply to radio. And then this goes to the radio, and then if I want to switch radios, I can pull this one out and go to the other one. Let's look at it. I soldered these on a long time ago, so red to red. I will double check everything before I turn the radio on. Black to black, power. Okay, here's what I started out with. A little 30 amp power pole supply kit. Here's what I've got now which is my radio with fuses to power poles. And let's see if it works. Power on. Power on. Project success.